Hi, I'm Holly from Spend With Pennies and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are going to be making my favorite mac and cheese casserole. This is so good, it's creamy, it's rich, it's delicious, and it is hands down my favorite recipe on this site. So let's get started. So we're gonna start by making a cheese sauce and this cheese sauce is a roux, which means you're going to melt butter and flour together. And once you add the flour, you're gonna to wanna to let that cook down for a little bit, about for about a minute or two, and that will help get rid of any floury flavor in your cheese sauce. Okay, so we've let this cook down for a couple of minutes. Now we're gonna slowly add the cream and the milk. We just add a little bit at a time and whisk it in until it's smooth. Okay, so now we've whisked all of the milk and cream and we're gonna slowly bring this to a boil over medium heat while we're whisking and add in seasonings. So we're gonna add some salt, pepper, a little bit of mustard powder and onion powder. Okay, so this sauce, this white sauce has started to boil now. It's starting to thicken. And we're gonna let it simmer for about one minute. Okay, so this cheese sauce is nice and thick and creamy. You'll always want to remove your sauce from the element before you add the cheese. If you add the cheese and the temperature is too high, it will break the sauce and cause um, the cheese to separate and you'll have sort of a greasy sauce. So we're gonna add some sharp cheddar, some Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna whisk that until smooth. Okay, so we've got all the cheese whisked in. We have a nice, thick, luscious cheese sauce. And this ingredient is optional, but I love the flavor that it adds to this mac and cheese. So I'm gonna add one can of condensed cheddar soup. Gosh, I'm blushing. That is funny. We're just gonna whisk that in until smooth and creamy. Okay, so now we're going to stir in our cooked macaroni noodles. Now when you boil the noodles, remember to cook them al dente because they will cook a little bit more in the oven. And this is going to go into a nine by 13 casserole dish. Okay. 
And finally, we're gonna to top this with a little bit more cheddar. And this is going to go into a 425 degree oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, this has set about 10 to 15 minutes and it is ready to go. It is so good and creamy and cheesy. This is the best mac and cheese you've ever had. For the full recipe, visit spendwithpennies.com.